points by doing this. Just try and see if it works for you. Uh, especially on some heroes like Maya, Rafam, uh, Elise, Omu, like all the strongest heroes. All the strongest heroes should actually level on 9 gold to tier 5 and not on 10. And then you're early to, to tier 5 and you can actually find all the carries before everybody else because every, everything is in the pool. So more, more carries are actually left in the pool. You can find them, you can take them. And then you start scaling even faster, like earlier than everybody else and your units actually grow faster and uh, you just uh, win the game uh, in the end, basically. Okay, let's get the strongest unit here, Sacolite of Katoon. Yeah, n nowadays, like, the curve is to actually go to tier 5 on 9 gold and not 10, because 10 is actually late. Uh, most of the time, 10 is late because people, most of your opponents, if they're playing correctly, are, are going to be on tier 5 already, and they, they're going to be finding the carries already, and you're kind of a uh, uh, tier behind them, so... Uh, but yeah, playing for Brand and Light Fang is the best strategy to, to climb and win. It's very easy to execute, and um, uh, actually Light Fang is ahead of Brand. Light Fang is ahead of Brand. It's very easy to play, it's very easy to, to execute as well, because it's a passive buff. If you triple into a 5, triple into Light Fang, not into Brand. Just triple into Light Fang. Light Fang is buffing your board for 0 gold. You don't need to find buffs. Uh, with with Light Fang, uh, uh, as you need with Bran, you know? You need to find the jug, so... Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it a lot. I'm trying my, my hardest that, to explain. Um, yeah, I mean, I would, I would just, just suggest, if you triple into a 5-drop, get Light Fang, and uh, if you can, try to level to tier 5 on 9 gold instead of 10. And then be on tier 5 when you t uh, hit a prize. So when a prize turn hits, you have 10 gold, you're already on tier 5, and you roll for units that you need. That's the perfect place to be. That's the place to be if you want to win the game. You'll be on tier 5 on 9 gold, and then the next turn you get a prize, you, you roll for uh, carries and uh, try to win from there. Okay, let me see. I need to see how I play here. Does this guy level? I still need to level, most likely. I can play this, though. I'm gonna stay this time. Even though, like, my strategy with, with this area is to level. Probably gonna fall off because of this. But I, I wanna take this and a dragon next turn. This is stronger than the, than the spawn, so I'm gonna play this for now. Uh, what about Baron? What would make you go for uh, tier 6? Baron is actually a tempo unit. Baron is not a scaling unit, not a unit you want to play for. Like, it's not going to carry your comp uh, unless you have, like, a uh, gold ring, right? So let me just play the turn and I'll, I'll, I'll keep explaining. Uh, let me see. Might, obviously, right? Let's see what dra dragon I get. Nice one. Just take, take. I'm not going to buff my spawn here. So I, it actually needs to die, so I'm gonna buff first and play the spawn. You're playing around with my corpse right now, doggy? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um... Uh, you mean, uh, when you ask about going for, do, do you mean, like, going up to tier 6, or do you mean tripling into tier 6? Yeah, there's some comps you can play with Baron, but um, like a uh, Goldring comp is actually Baron is a carry of Goldring comp, right? But ah, oh, come on, did I actually lose to that? So strong though. Hey Teddy, how you doing, man? Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Oh, leveling to tier six. Yeah, I mean, uh. That's usually gonna be, for example, I could give one example that's really, really good there. And that is, for for example, you have like, you have six dragons, right? And you can't do anything with them, you can't improve. If you sell some of them, you get weaker. For example, you have like double Bronze Warden with Divine Shield that are like 4-3. Four, four, you buff them with like Twilight Emissaries. And then you have Draconid and Forces. You play like a Divine Shield comp with dragons, right? 
And then you need Kalagos, but you can't triple, right? Then if you have enough health, you can go up and try to find that Kalagos, you know? If you're strong enough, if you have like Tempo, like a Divine Shield comp, that's Tempo comp, but you don't have a carry, and you can't actually play Menagerie, for example, because Bran and Lightfang are useless with full Dragon Board, then you, you can go up, try to find that Kalagos. And uh, some other options are maybe, if you have a, if you triple into a 6 drop, you get a Genie, and Genie is actually really strong on tier 6, because whenever he dies, it can actually give you Little Rag and uh, Gar and Amalgadon. So if you have a Genie and you have health and you're strong, you can go to tier 6. And even if you're not that strong, if you have health, you can risk it and go to tier 6. So you can actually hit the Amalgadon and the Little Rag. Those are some examples of going to tier 6. But uh, usually don't go for tier 6. I, I wouldn't recommend going for 6. Maybe when you play against Ghost, go for 6. But uh, usually it's just losing a turn. Most of the time it's losing a turn. It's just some, some situations where you, where you go 6, but you can perfectly like play perfectly good comps on tier tier 5. You can play a Menagerie comp that wins the game a lot, lot, a lot of the times, basically. A lot of the times Menagerie comps win the game, so... Yeah, got second with Rag. Little Rag helped you. Glad to hear that, John. Okay, this guy levels, I'm gonna level. Because ah, Zamzruk is weak this turn, so I'm gonna level. It's fine. Not gonna freeze this, I'm gonna level next turn as well. Most likely, take some damage and then try to triple into Kalagos. Ah, oh, come on, tripling into a 5. Oh, it's you, SimCity. Come on, man, don't hit me too hard. Yeah, most of the time I wouldn't go to tier 6, honestly. Like, it's usually a bait. It's usually a bait on how you lose the game, honestly. Uh, as I said, like, there are some scenarios where you go for it. Uh, when you play the Ghost, if you're really strong and really healthy. For example, if you triple into a 6-drop and get Eliza, you really have really strong tempo, you know? And you're gonna win the next 2-3 fights because of Eliza, so you can level up. Uh, but yeah, those are the scenarios. If you have really strong tempo, you level to 6 to find some, some more carries. Uh, that's basically it. And then there's Genie and maybe maybe Kalagos with Dragons if you count like triple into Kalagos. But that's really awkward as well because uh, it's kind of slow. Ah, <clears throat> uh, triple into... Ah, uh, terrible hit. Can I tie this? Okay, I tie. No, I actually win. Good one. I'm gonna level again to 5 here. This is what I'm saying. I'm gonna level level up to 5 on 9 gold instead of, uh, instead of 10. So I'm actually up there immediately. I'm gonna take a hit for it, but it's completely fine. There's the brand, there's my triple, okay. See what we play for. We hit Amalgadon, we play brand. If we hit Kalagos, we play for dragons. Uh, if we play, if we hit like another like uh, tribe, we can uh, play for brand again. So we'll see. Uh, it it always depends, Vaishan as well. So for example, if if I like have full dragon board and I hit on the house on five, I go to six to get Kalagos or Nadina. But if I have four tribes, which I usually do because I try to keep open, like to stay open to everything, then I stay tier 5 because there are more carries on tier 5 there than there are on tier 6. So I try to hit Lightfang or Bran or Mitrax. And there are three carries on tier 5 that are very strong. So I just uh, use on the house to on 5, so I don't go 6 because there's, there are more carries on 5 actually. So 5 is better that, uh, that way to we'll just play Menagerie. But if you, for example, have like five beasts, then you go up and try to find Goldrin, right? If you have like uh, full pirates, maybe you can go for Eliza. But if you have a lot of tribes, then you usually just stay and uh, try to find Bran. Play for that. Uh, what's banned? Um, uh, pirates and beasts. We took 10. Yeah, we're gonna hit some bad elementals though, right? Can we take something from him? He doesn't have anything actually, shit. 
Don't don't need this, don't need this. Oh man, he doesn't have anything at all. Can I go great deal then? I'm I'm sorry, but I have to do this now. That color goes here. Thank god man. Yeah, let's take this one as well. Anyway. To steal some stuff. Draconian Enforcer. Hmm. Okay, I'll definitely definitely play this always, so. I'll play. Take this, okay. And yeah, this is this is how you find a direction and uh, win the game. So now there's a question of why did I take the brand, right? And the brand actually gives me more cards, right? He gives me cards from Murazon, he gives me cards from uh Tempest, uh he gives me more cards from Primal Fin. If I find an Amalgadon, he's gonna buff Amalgadon as well, he's doubling my buffs. Uh, and it's pretty early in the game, so I can I can I can get him. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tempest, Murazond, uh, Primal Fin. Uh, should I play a bumper here? Maxarin. I mean, he's playing elementals as Flurgo. Jesus Christ. He's actually <laughs> she's actually playing this as Flurgo. Come on, man. Come on, Bob Nelson. He's dead here, right? Yeah, 77% to die. Dead. Even though, the, like, this is my weak turn, guys. This is my weak turn. I'm weak at this turn, but, I mean, he's just... I don't know, like, what's, what's with this lobby, though? Like, I saw uh, Milhouse not level when he should level, so I'm not sure what's happening. Just get all the battle cries, right? And uh, we have a great deal now, so we can level up to tier 6, maybe next turn for 3 gold, or maybe turn, turn after that it's gonna be zero, 0 gold, so we'll, we'll see. Oh, that's a triple. Oof. Let's move out. Play 4 dragons, it's fine. Definitely gonna play 4. Okay, gets another get another Kale. Oh a model is good. No unit types now though. Should I have played differently? Okay. Why not Nadina? Too early. Did I actually have Nadina? <laughs> Don't tell me I had Nadina. No, it's fine. We were gonna do <laughs> this was the plan. This was the plan. This was the plan. No dad, no dad, no 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 This was the plan. It's fine, like it's 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 fine, it's fine guys, it's fine. The model is fine. This lobby is easy anyway, so we don't need Nadina here. Is Nadina or Amalgadon? Okay. Now it's it's okay, it's okay. Nadina is a little bit more tempo. Amalgadon is still fine. It's not like... Uh, Nadina is uh, so much more tempo, but it's okay. Still gonna be fine here. Uh, do I level next turn now? Or... So it's gonna be 3 gold now. I should probably level. How did he? He's on tier 6, okay. For some reason he goes tier 6. Like, for no reason at all, he goes 6. But okay. Akazamzarak on tier 6. Also, for some reason, playing dragons. Okay. Battle cries, battle cries, battle. Uh, do I take the genie here? Play him first, maybe? Sure. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, go Becca or 6 Eka. 
<laughs> thank you much for the follow. I appreciate, appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. I'll be more than glad to answer anything. Sorry, guys, about Nadina play, though. Sorry about Nadina. At what turn did I get Kalagos? I got it at uh, turn... Turn 8. Right? No, turn... Yeah, turn 8, turn 8. Goshatsa? Okay, Goshatsa. I thought, I mean, 6, like a... Sh sound or like... Um, or, a, or a B, maybe. Double Kalagos. Okay. Am I dead here? Potentially, yes. I mean, crazy, 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 crazy. So crazy. Died, 22. Now he regrets giving it, yeah, definitely. I would have killed him here. I mean, he had ice block, but yeah, for sure. Oh, I should have done this first. I can get the uh, call it from him. Okay, that's it. Now I just kick Bran out, right? I guess I don't. I guess I don't kick Bran out, so... Nidina now, Elistra, again dragons, and on Elistra here. Two, three, take. I'll do it now. Okay. Yeah, if I had Nadina, it's an easy win, right? But yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually see Nadina. It's not a problem that I didn't choose Nadina. I just didn't see it. I was just like too fast to play. It's completely my bad. It's okay though. I mean, it's definitely not okay. But uh, like losing between losing and winning, I'm actually like really favored here, so that's fine. Everybody has a uh, colleague with this game. Okay, he has a big, uh, big razor war, but that's basically that's that's basically it. Okay. Now we just have to beat Takazamzarak though, and he's actually scaling with double Kalagos as well as a Malgadon. So let's see. I can actually outgrow him, but if he has Nadina, then it's a price turn, so we can hit Nadina here. So I'll do this immediately. Quite hit Nadina. Okay, good. So some dragon we won't have the enough attack, so I'll just buff them a little bit so they get the same attack. Close to the same at least. Primal Fin is actually good with Amalgadon, but I don't know what to sell next turn. Let me see your shop. Let me see your shop, John. We have time now. Let me see your shop. Okay. Triple Skelly again. You're gonna troll with Triple Skelly again with Sindragosa? You really like to abuse the bug with Skellies. Okay, I win. 
Even if he finds Nadina now, he might be behind. Okay, let me see. 44. It's gonna be 48. It's not gonna kill the Amalgadon. Okay. 36. Okay, only only one poison. Okay, okay, good. That's his eyes look now. I mean, he found some bug where where his uh, skellies actually didn't get buffed. It it uh, he he had like four four buffs from Sindragossa, and uh, his skellies were ten two. You know, he had two health, even though he they had like four buffs from Sindragossa hero power, and then they uh, their health went into into minus, and they were still alive in the in the fight. So they were like minus two health in the fight because it actually worked correctly, but the number wasn't correct. So that's that's all about the bug. I mean, it's nothing special. It's not even like it's just a number bug. Um, I need to find other Nadina or Elistra to be able to replace ending. Um, ah, uh, yeah, no color. Oof, but Morazons, I mean, fuck, this is so nice. I can triple. Triple the Morazon. I can't sell anything, I get weaker though. If he finds Nidina, I especially need Elistra, so. I really can't. But I can do this for next turn, maybe if he tie. I, I, I need Elistra because if he plays Nidina, I definitely need Elistra, right? So if he doesn't have Nidina, I'm gonna win anyway. If he doesn't have Nidina, I'm gonna win anyway, so I'm just gonna play the same. I think I'm gonna win anyway, though, but I'm not, not actually sure. Don't know what the stats were. He's gonna grow even bigger though. He's gonna grow even bigger. Maybe I actually lose, who knows? Maybe I should have sold, but if he finds Nidina then I need to have it. Okay, it's actually thirty percent for him to little me. That's a decent hit. Let's see. Okay. He's gonna be bigger. Yeah, but still, like, still not bigger than me, though. I'm still bigger. Yeah, I mean, yeah, still bigger than him. It's fine. Uh, I need to play like this, I think. It's, it's only a couple of buffs. If he finds Nadina, then, then I actually might lose. 